face. It is sunny. Oh, I put some of this on. All right, good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go through um, all the different products that I have pulled aside that I use um, on a daily basis or switch out for my uh, sun care products. If you guys have any great ones that you'd like to recommend as well that you've tried and you absolutely love, just comment below and we can all talk about it. Now, I wanna start with, um, which I used to have it so that I could show it to you guys, but I finally threw it away. I had it in my sun bag for probably two years and I never used it, but I have a little bit of a problem throwing things away. I know it's something I need to work on, but it's the sunscreen that most uh, women I would say use. Um, it's over the counter. You can get it at Target. It's the Neutrogena 50 plus facial sunscreen. There is no physical blockers in there. It is um, all chemical, but again, it does contain that avobenzone component. So you are getting a little bit of the, the UVA coverage. Now, the reason why I do not like this sunscreen is it was very stingy and sensitive to my skin. And on top of it, it was so greasy that my makeup would just slide right off of it. It was just a mess. I couldn't stand it. My alternative that I have found is the Obagi Sun Shield um, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Um, and it does now come in a matte. This is probably my one of my holy grail sunscreens. I've been using this since 2009. I still love it. This product has 10.5% um, zinc oxide and 7.5% oxytinazate. It has the physical component, which is the zinc oxide. And then it also does have a chemical component in it as well, which is the octinazate. Okay, whatever. I wear it. I don't wear this one if I'm going to be going on vacation in the ocean. But what I love about this is that it goes on matte and almost acts like a primer before you put your makeup on. So it goes beautifully underneath makeup. Um, so this is probably one of my favorite products. Now, another product that I don't have here uh, because I haven't invested in one yet are the beloved Elta MD products. They come in a ton of different varieties with different ingredients in them. They have regular and then they also have tinted. So that is another great alternative that I would highly recommend. Would the second sunscreen that I wanna talk about is a tinted sunscreen. So I don't really wear um, a whole lot of makeup besides today because I'm filming and I gotta look for good for the camera, but usually I just use a tinted sunscreen, slap some of that on, put a little bit of powder over it to set it, I'm good to go. Um, so I've been on the hunt for the perfect one. I've tried a ton of them. They're either too orange or too oily or not enough coverage or I don't like the ingredients and I finally have found the most amazing product in the whole world. It is the uh, Replenix Tinted Sunscreen. What makes me really sad is that you won't find it like this at your um, dermatologist's office or your med spa of choice or your plastic surgeon's office because what this brand does is they make the product um, through this company, but then they will brand it for you. So, you know, I work at U Aesthetics. This would say U Aesthetics have our little brand and our logo, and this would be our tinted sunscreen. So it's a little bit hard for me to recommend because it'll be hard for you guys to find, but if you talk to the place, that you go to or you call around and just ask, hey, your brand, is it actually Replenix? If you can find this little baby right here, it will change your life. The um, active ingredient in here is 16.2% zinc oxide. This stuff has got some really good um, protection in it. The formula, it also has uh, green tea, resveratrol, vitamin C, emblica, and CoQ10. We'll go through all of this in some future videos, but it's a lot of really great um, other things to protect your skin. So it goes on great. It's not too greasy. It's the perfect color. It makes me look tan because I'm very, very white. Um, and it is just amazing. Have you ever been in to see your provider and they tell you, oh, you gotta reapply your sunscreen every two hours to keep it effective, right? Well, it's true. Now, if you go to work, and you've got a full on glam face of makeup, who's gonna go and take this little liquid here and rub it all over their face? I mean, not gonna happen. 
So the wonderful people at Color Science have come up with a powdered sunscreen. So it comes in a little tube like this. You just open it up, you pull this back, and it's got a little brush. It has this powder in it. It's a translucent powder. It deposits the powder out through the brush. So you can just rub this all over the face and you've now reapplied your sunscreen without disrupting any of your makeup and you've actually set your makeup a little bit more and kind of helped with any you know grease you might have accumulated throughout the day. This stuff can keep you on track with keeping your sun protection all day long. It is 24.1% zinc oxide. Excuse me, what, huh? What'd you just say? You heard me correct. 24.1% zinc oxide and 23.9% titanium dioxide. 100% physical sunscreen here. It's waterproof, it's sweat proof. This is my foundation of choice. So if I am going to get a little bit glam, a little bit extra, I will step up my makeup game a little bit and put on an actual foundation. And um, my favorite one is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I didn't even know until probably six months ago that it's a pretty awesome sunscreen as well. Now, usually I am not an advocate for um, having your sunscreen in your moisturizer or your foundation. It's okay, but you just need to use another sunscreen on top of it. So even though this does have really good protection in it, I still would, if I use this, I'll put my Obagi on underneath it. If any of you have tried it, I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about. It is, it's just wonderful. I have nothing else better to say about it. Um, the active ingredients in it are 9% titanium dioxide and 6.3% zinc oxide. So again, full physical. They have this one, which is just a regular one. They have a like an illuminizing one that gives you a little bit of more of like a dewy finish. And then they also just recently came out with a matte one, I believe, which I'm really upset because I just bought this new one and then I found out about the matte one. Finally, um, the tough category of a body sunscreen. So I used to always just use whatever I could find over the counter at Target. They're great sunscreens, they work for me. I always make sure I use the 50 plus. I reapply often. I'm the crazy girl at the beach who literally sets an alarm to reapply my sunscreen. But look at my skin. You can see why. I have recently been looking for a better body sunscreen and um, I've come across the Elta MD one. So I really do enjoy that one. Um, and then for a more over-the-counter version, um, for uh, another suggestion, I found the Copper Tone Water Babies Pure and Simple uh, 50 sunscreen. It is a little bit thick, so you have to work with it a little bit, but it will rub in. It is 7.5% oxytinazate. 5% oxytisolate, so those are both the chemical ones, and then 14.5% zinc oxide. It still does have some of that chemical in it, but it does have zinc oxide, which makes me very happy because it's almost impossible to find a good over-the-counter that has a physical in it. So there we have it, uh, some great information on recommendations and examples of some of my favorite sun products. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to comment below and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.